Five, it came on Snapchat from a kid and now concern and disgust by the Edwardsville High School community over one student's very eye opening snap and some aren't too happy either with the school's handling of all of this. We we're about to show you what was sent to many people. The student behind the snap, we're told, has been MIA for a while. And as News 4's Gabriela Vidal reports, Edwardsville parents want accountability and help for that Snapchatter. Bringing in the start of summer. I just truly believe it was downplayed tremendously. And here we are. Didn't hit the right note for Edwardsville High School parent Naya B. One, I kept him home. That's after her freshman son shared a Snapchat message he received Thursday afternoon. News 4 covered up the Snapchat handle and the racist words sent in the chat, but you can still see some of the remaining derogatory language like blackies, lying, cheating scum, and watermelon munching. So he says, well, you know, there's a girl who hasn't been in school for a while. You know, rumor has it that she's feeling depressed. And then some people started another rumor saying that she committed suicide. But today she sends out a snap to everyone, you know, that's kind of in our class. So I said, well, what's the snap? So he brings it to me and shows it. And I said, you need to take that seriously. Also seen in the post is a gun emoji pointed at a black person. This is how a lot of mass shootings happen. And I'm not really OK with this type of language and so black people those are threatening words but after sharing this screenshot with the school expressing her concerns and identifying who may have sent the post here it is noon i still hadn't heard anything so i emailed the principal again and i said hey what's the follow-up what's the status so they're saying well you said this was sent to other students we haven't had a chance to email to interview the other students so who are the other students so at this point i'm like you guys are questioning my son's reality Edwardsville District 7 spokesperson sent news for this, saying in part, quote, along with the Edwardsville Police Department, we are in the middle of investigating this incident. These instances undermine the inclusive and welcoming environment District 7 strives to create. We want every member of District 7 to feel safe, valued, and supported within our school community. I know for a fact that if my son was to send something like that, he'd be expelled by now. We'd be at, you know, police stations. He'd be in handcuffs. I'm just, I'm over it. Naya B says she wants to see swifter action from school leaders on these types of incidents. Threats against your race, threats against your life, or any type of emojis that show, hey, we're going to put a gun to your head and do whatever. We don't know if that's true or not. And racism is real. And making sure those who may be suffering through mental health struggles are heard. I definitely would like for them to be able to take those children and do some real work with them as opposed to keeping them amongst everyone else who wants to come to school and learn and have a safe environment. In Edwardsville, Gabriella Vidal, News 4.